Hey Noah, what's up? How's it going, Tiger? What have we shot recently? Uh, हम खाना बना रहे थे. Uh, Teams feature एक बड़ा project है जिस पर हम काम कर रहे हैं. As a podcaster, I want my content to be able to reach audiences around the world. But since we're recording in English, it's actually really hard to translate it into other languages. Traditionally, I'd have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars just to dub it into other languages, and the lips wouldn't even match what I'm saying or what my whole co-host is saying or even what the guest is saying. But now it's actually really simple to use AI to do exactly that. So I'm going to show you the easiest workflow to integrate sync into your own content creation. Okay, so for the second section of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take content that you've recorded yourself, you or your friends, or just anything that's just not up on the internet, and actually dub it into any other language. So this right here is a change log that I recorded a few days ago and worked on. It has all of our team just talking about the changes we've made over the past month to our platform. And obviously it's in English, but let's say we wanted to reach a wider audience. What if we could dub this into Hindi and reach our audience in India? Or we could dub it into Spanish and reach a larger American audience. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so for the first step, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the original change log and create a new timeline called change log dubbed. Once we have the new timeline created for this dubbed change log, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I hide all the overlays and make sure that there's only one speaker in the frame at a certain point, which would mean cropping in all the different parts where people are talking. We are actually working on an active speaker detection feature, which will make it so that Sync will automatically detect who's speaking where. Unfortunately, right now that isn't available yet. So I'm going to show you exactly how to crop in and crop out people. So we can see that while um, my CEO, he's talking, it's only, he's the only one in frame. So there shouldn't be any issue there. These ones onward, it's actually two people in the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and split the clip every time uh, Tyre or Noah talks. Hey, hey Noah, what's up? So that's one. How's it going, Tyre? What have we shipped with? There we go. So when Tyre is talking, I'm just going to use the crop tool right here to crop it to about there. I'm going to copy this clip and paste it on the other end where he's talking. There we go. And from this one, just crop left, copy, and then we can actually paste it to both of these. And yeah, you get the drill. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crop the rest of the video. And I'm also gonna go ahead and hide the subtitle track because for these examples, we shouldn't need any subtitles because we're translating them to other languages. And then I'm gonna export this video as 1080p we can name it input change log, hit export. And once you're done exporting, we're gonna head back to 11 labs, click go to app, dubbing, create a dub, and we can name the project. We can choose our language as English and our target language as Hindi. And then we're gonna click create dubbing project and since in this one, we're just going to use the original video that we already have, the one that we've created. We don't need the video that 11 Labs itself generates. We're just going to need the audio from it. So you can actually go ahead and click reduce character usage by 50% and just get the version with the 11 Labs video watermark. And in terms of the number of speakers, there's actually a lot of speakers in here. So I'd say, I believe there's seven speakers in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And finally, we're gonna hit upload and upload our video. Once we have our video uploaded, we're gonna go ahead and click create dub. So, okay, so as you can see, 11 Labs has gone ahead and split up all the different speakers and created different timestamps for everything. And then it even went ahead and translated everything to Hindi and created the voice clones for each person and generated the audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch through what it generated right here and just see if there's any mistakes, any areas where I can improve it, and then we can go from there. Hey Noah, what's up? How's it going, Tiger? What have we shipped recently? We have been cooking. <laughs> so sometimes you can see that it's not that great at detecting the words. So you can go ahead and manually fix up what it didn't detect. Uh, 
and we're gonna go ahead and add in another voice for Noah right here because it didn't quite catch him saying how's it going tire and we can trim this right here and add in another one for tire Noah what's up hey Noah what's up how's it going tire what have we should and we can even click isolate right here to see how's it going tire what All right, there we go. Okay, I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'm going to go ahead and click export and we're going to do just in Hindi and as a wave output. And once that's done exporting, we're going to click download and then we're ready to actually start the lip syncing. So to get started on the lip sync, you're gonna to wanna to head back to sync.so, make sure you're logged in, and then you can literally go ahead, upload your input change log, and then you can also upload your audio, make sure it is the dubbed one from 11 Labs. Make sure lip sync 190 is selected or whatever the latest model is, and then you can hit generate. And then you can sit back and wait for the lip syncing to finish. Okay, so the output from Sync has just been generated. Um, if we scrub through, we can see that cropping the video made it so the lip sync is pretty much seamless. There's no artifacts, everything seems perfect. So the final step is now going to be removing the crops and stitching these back onto the original video. So we're gonna go ahead and download this video and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Now a really handy feature within Premiere Pro is scene edit detection. We're going to click on scene edit detection and make sure apply cut at each detected point is selected. And then we click analyze. And what this is going to do is every single time that I've cropped a certain section, it's just going to cut the video there. So it makes it really easy for me to then undo the crop or re-add in the crop on the black parts. You'll see what I mean. So for these ones, we should be good to go. And now what I'm going to do is instead of going through and removing the crop from every single one of these manually, I'm going to go ahead and select every single one of these and remove the crop from them all at once by pasting the attributes from one of the clip which doesn't have a crop. So we can do that, paste attributes in motion. And from these ones, I'm going to go ahead and crop this one, crop right, like that. Copy the attributes just by hitting Command C and I'm gonna select every other one because I know that every other one has the same crop. And I'm gonna click paste. Okay, there we go. So I've gone ahead and finished cropping out all of the parts where there's black and cropping in all the parts where there were black so that now it actually shows both the original video where someone's not talking, like let's say Noah's listening here and Tyre's talking. Um, it's gonna show Tyre talking and Noah listening from the original video. But now that I've gone ahead and cropped out everything, I can go ahead and export this video and it should be ready to go. असल में एक साथ आईआरएल मिली ताकि एक नई सुविधा टीम्स को जारी किया जा सके हां हम इसके परिणाम से बहुत उत्साहित हैं पहला संस्करण थोड़ा बेसिक है लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि आपको हमारे आगे की योजनाएं पसंद आएंगी क्या चल रहा है कैसा चल रहा है तेर? हाल ही में हमने क्या भेजा है आ, हम खाना बना रहे थे टीम्स फीचर एक बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है जिस पर हम काम कर रहे हैं ये लोगों को अपनी टीम में किसी को भी आमंत्रित करने और मूल रूप से अनुमतियां साझा करने की अनुमति देता है शानदार है मुझे लगता है कि मां पता कि हमने नवंबर में फ्रांस में ऑफिस रिट्रीट के दौरान एक दशमलव आठ लॉन्च किया था लेकिन उस मॉडल में मूल रूप से दो मुद्दे थे एक यह कि यह अत्यंत धीमा था यद्यपि परिणाम तीव्र थे चेहरा प्रसंस्करण स्वयं काफी कमजोर था हमने अभी अभी एस के लिए एक नया ब्लॉग प्रकाशित किया है इसमें बहुत सारी रोमांचक सामग्री है Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. We're trying to hit 10 million subscribers apparently, so if you can help us out there, that would be awesome. 